Hi, this is Antti from React Studio. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create login gate to your app by using the Xano no code backend and React Studio. First of all, the Xano, it's a no code backend which we are going to collaborate with and uh, we're going to add an integration to Studio so you can easily sign up to Xano and uh, connect your Xano backend to React Studio project and uh, use the database and functions and whatever you need in a, in a backend. So the tutorial consists of uh, adding login gate and then error handling. That's the basic stuff we need. We're not going to touch the sign up. It's going to be in the next next tutorial. Anyway, let's let's start by uh, creating a new React Studio project. I already have it here. And uh, first, what we need is uh, we need to create a Xano Xano database with the user table, and uh, I already already have one here. So this is out of React Studio's scope, but uh, here's the backend and here's the user user table here. I have a couple users here and uh, the API. I already have the API as well here. And here's the, the, the standard login API, which is created automatically when you create the instance and the database in, in Xano. Anyway, let's get started. So first, we need to create a at, at the login gate to the to the app and uh, you can find the login gate here it's a it's a sort of a screen but it has some some special features so i'll just drag the login gate here and let's call it login and uh, next step is obviously to add this login as the first launch item in the in the app so when you when you launch the app you will see the login gate so i will just select the app settings and select uh, I need to select the login here and here we have the login as set as the first launch and then just open the login and uh, and uh, and by, by the way we need to first sell, uh, connect to the Xano obviously so I just click connect to Xano and login and uh, then download couple data databases so we can I think we need to I'll just I'll just uh, download this one data sheet so now we have a connection to the API and here's actually the restaurants that we're going to we're going to use in the in the demo app but uh, in the in this case we just have one one data sheet with with restaurants data from the Xano database Anyway, let's get started. So open the login gate and we need to add a text field for for a username. Let's call this or email field email and let's set the type to email address. I can just duplicate this with command and D and this will be the field password. And then add a button for login like this. And maybe I will just create this a little bit nicer. I add a key line, align it to center, and just select all of these and align it center to key line. So now it, they they will be centered in every every screen size. I make this a login button a little bit bigger like this. And finally. I set the password field type to the password, and now we're basically the 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 basic login form is now ready. What we need to do then is uh, set the login gate settings. So just select the login from the from the project map. In case you don't see the project map, you can see the you can say change the the view from here. So this is the project map view. And just select the login gate and scroll here. And login gate settings, what we need to do, or what we want to do, we, we don't want to use the simple password, we want to use the web service for login. So I select the web service, and it's it, by default it already selects the Xano here, because we have the Xano web service created in the project when we, when we downloaded one data table. So I just select the Xano, and when unlocked, what we do want to do, we want to go to the start screen. So 
just want to add the start screen. And now I will just leave this. Uh, if un unlock fails, go to login. I will leave it that way. But in I will, we will create an error screen as well. But in this this phase, we are going to just use the login. So if it fails, we don't do anything. And then in the settings, uh, the API endpoint was auth uh, slash login, and it was the same in the in the in the backend. Here we can see the, the, the login is auth slash login, and we don't need to change that. And then select the email field, and we'll select the field email and password field, we'll select the field password. And then we want to save the user ID. So in the app, you probably need to have the user ID for uh, retrieving data for, for user and stuff like that. So let's create one. I'll just go to data, add data slot, change the name of the slot, this user ID. And now we have the variable for user ID. Let's go back to the settings. I'll just select the user ID here. And basically we're good to go. We need to, obviously we need to add the login interaction, but otherwise it's ready. So let's go back to the login screen, select the login button here. And uh, up here, when user taps, we go to component and uh, then we, then we just select the unlock gate from the component login. This is basically uh, interaction that the login gate offers. And now we're now we're basically good to go. We can run this in the browser, but first let's add uh, some content to the the main screen of the app. I'll just add some blurb there. And we're good to go. And here's the app running now in the, in the browser. And in the back end, I know that I, I've created I've created a couple users here. I know the password. You know, let's try with the test at example.com here. should or maybe maybe the oh it, it works yeah it works so hello world and uh, in the next phase let's add a error handling and sign out so what we need to add is another screen responsive screen here um, and go to app login gate settings and select if unlock fails, let's go to error. And by default, there's a property added automatically, which is error text. So if there's an error, we can show the error for the user or make a, make a script out of it or do whatever we want. Let's we'll just create a, create a text label here, align it from left and right, maybe 20 pixels from left and minus 20 from right like this and then just connect it connect it to the data slot no sorry the error text here I can just drag this here and select that we're going to connect connect this property for the text of this this uh, text element and now in the runtime we're going to see the error message here let's try again run in the browser the app and now I will just type wrong password here and now we get the error message here and in the next phase we're going to add the sign out button so let's go back to the main screen here Let's add a button here. I will just add this kind of big button here. Let's call the sign. Oh, sign out. Or maybe log out. 
this. Let's just select the button, use the interaction. And again, now, now there's a, this kind of global global interaction which the which the login gate offers, which is sign out lock, this login gate here. And again, let's run this in the browser. Let's sign in. Login. And if I click this, now it's log out. And finally, if you want to protect the protect the, the screens, what you need to do is just select the screen which you want to be protected under the uh, the login gate so that user can't even browse it. You can just select the uh, the screen here and then go to authentication here in the settings and require active login from login. So now even if the user knows the URL of the screen, you can't browse it without the active login. So let's try that one. Login. Now we're logged in, and now we're logged out. And if I click, if I put the start here, it, it doesn't allow me to browse the start screen. It will redirect me to the login gate. So that's how you can create a login gate with Xano backend. And uh, in the next next episode, we're going to create the sign up sign up form. And thank you.